Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Anthony Daines, and welcome to the 5-Minute Facebook Ministry. Today we're coming out of John chapter 16, verse 33. That's John 16 and 33. And it reads, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. <clears throat> in this world you will have much, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Again, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart, I have overcome the world. This is Jesus. He's speaking to his uh, disciples. And uh, this is uh, in the upper room. Uh, just prior before he uh, got arrested to go to uh, <clears throat> be crucified. You know, he had just finished washing the disciples' feet and he was talking to them. He'd already told Paul that he was going to deny him three times. So um, <clears throat> now he's, he was talking to the disciples about, you know, he was leaving them and they would be grieving and he would be back in a short time. They wouldn't see him for a while. But he says, uh, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. You know, what Jesus has done <clears throat> is he's given us in his word the information we need to have peace in ours. Okay, he's given us what we need to have peace in our world. He says, in this world, you will have trouble. God is telling us that we're not going to have a trouble-free life. That in this world, there's going to be issues, there's going to be problems, there's going to be death, there's going to be disasters, you know, there's going to be wars, you know, there's going to be trouble in this world. He says, you will have trouble. And we all have trouble of some sort. And we, you know, um, <clears throat> we can't go through this life totally stress-free. I mean, there's always something going on, always something that's trying to get under our skin, always something that's trying to, trying to, trying to turn us down the wrong path, always something going on. But Jesus says, take heart. I have overcome the world. I have overcome the world. Now, what Jesus is saying is, is that when he came to earth, <clears throat> he overcame this world, all the problems in this world. He overcame the prince of this world, the prince of darkness, that would be Satan. <clears throat> He's overcome him. He's defeated him already. His resurrection put things in the proper order for us as children of God, okay, to have peace. And that we, we, we have to trust God and trust Jesus <clears throat> that everything that we're going through has already been overcome. Has already been overcome. It's not in a process of being overcome. The overcome is complete. Jesus has already overcome every situation that we're going to go through. And, and that's why I say our victory is already completed. And as we go through this trouble, as we have trouble in this world, we can, we can, we can have the peace from Jesus, from his word, from his promises to us. Okay, from the realization that he loved us, he gave his life for us, our sins are forgiven, we're children of God, and that our victory is assured. <clears throat> If we're living a godly life, doing the things of God, in the right place, then God is going to bless us. He's going to take us through these troubles. And, you know, he's going to build us up and use us. And we'll have that peace. We'll always have that peace. You know, and sometimes we struggle and we get depressed and we got things going on that bother us. We just got to always turn back to Jesus. And understand that he has a peace for us that no situation can tarnish. No one can take away from us. You know, we can only give that peace back. God, Jesus already given us peace. We can only give it back. <clears throat> we can't do anything to earn it. He just gave it to us. And if we read his word, and you, especially in John here, these, if you read, next start with chapter 13, 14, and 15, you know, as, as he's talking and praying for the disciples and us, well, there's a lot of things that Jesus said that it applies to us 
that we can use in our daily walk. We can use in our daily walk to strengthen us, to build us up, that we can keep the peace of Christ around us at all times, in all situations. And when we start living like that, when you start trusting God like that, it becomes easy and easy for you to get un, to be unflappable. You know, when something come, when a problem comes, you know, it doesn't bother you because you're used to you're used to counting on God. You're used to believing in God. You're, you're used to trusting God. So things just kind of bounce off of you. You know, just just stuff just bounce off. Of you. It don't stick. It don't stick to you no more. It don't upset you no more. So we just gotta stay in the Word. We gotta stay in faith with Jesus. And we got to keep his peace. It's all the time that I have. God loves you and I love you. Have a great day.